one of our mindsets have to be, if we're picking Jack Daniels or we're picking Buffalo Trace or we're picking Eagle Rare, I mean, there is a profile that's been established by those big producers. There are two brands on every single bottle that we do. There's the producer and there's the beverage involved. We're honoring their commitment to their craft by being down there. They're actually honoring our commitment to our craft by allowing us in. Getting to know the people behind these crafts helps us get to know what we can get the most out of with these individual barrels that we taste too. These people are true craftsmen who make these products. You don't understand the level of care that goes into it unless you go and see it in person and talk to them in person and learn about what they're all about, what they are trying to accomplish every day. You don't build a relationship like that, you know, by mailing little bottles back and forth. You go to the source and you meet the people who make it, you know, you get your hands dirty in a warehouse, you know, rooting out casts that you want, asking questions about their production is the way to get the best quality example of that brand available for sale on the shelf. I think the fingerprint of our hand-picked Vinny's Beverage Depot bottlings are the three of us going through and tasting thoroughly and being brutally honest. And that also extends out to when we have larger groups, when we, when we actually have some of our other co-workers with us. Everybody's heard out. Everybody's opinion matters. If the three of us agree on something, those are the only things that are instanced absolutely. Because if the three of us actually agree on something, then okay, we're definitely doing that. We very strictly taste everything blind. We don't know how old these things are. Sometimes we don't know what mash bill they are. It's the most honest way to select barrels. Some barrel pick programs might be, you know, brand A sends three bottles of whiskey B to small local store C. They're going to taste these three little vials of liquid, and whatever one they like best gets picked. And that's not the experience you get when you know, talking to these craftsmen at the source. Doors tend to open when you're there. I have the best job in the world because I get to travel and experience new things and share those experiences with other people. This is how you know you have the best job in the world because if you ever go home and complain about work, people look at you and say, I know what you do for a living. You got nothing to complain about. Oh, I have the best job in the world because it doesn't feel like a job at all. Yeah, and it's my job to find and select the best whiskeys I possibly can and make sure that they're on the shelves for you to buy.